Hi, Champion Movie Summary here. Watch out and take care. Please subscribe if you like this channel. Today we will be sharing a Marvel movie titled, Eternals. It's year 5000 BC, 10 superpowered Eternals were sent by the Celestial Erishim to Earth on their starship, the Domo, to exterminate the invasive deviants on Earth. These heroes single-handed killed all the deviants on Earth easily and waiting for the next mission. 10 Eternals Heroes and Their Abilities Akari's, ability to fly and firing energy blast from his eyes. Makari, ability to channel her energy to be, super fast, to improve her speed. Kingo, ability to harness his energy through projectile blasts. Gilgamesh, using cosmic energy to enhance his physical hand strikes. Thena, goddess of war in combat skills with golden spear and crossbow. Fatis, ability to creating technology and weapons using his mind. Sprite, Matter manipulation in a trick or illusion. Durig, telepathy ability to control human mind. Ajak, Eternals group leader and have the healing ability. Circe, ability to manipulate molecules in an object and reshape them. The last of the deviants were killed in 1521, and the group's opinions differ over their continued responsibilities and their relationship with humankind. Over the next 500 years, they mostly live apart from each other, awaiting Erishem's return. Back into present day in London, Circe and Sprite were staying together after few thousand years of no incident. Circe also was dating Dane, and we will talk about him in the end of the movie. On that day, both of team were attacked by a deviant named Crow. Both of them were no match of Crow, because they do not possess destructive powers. Luckily, Akaris came to their rescue. Akaris managed to injure Crow however he able to heal himself, which never happened before in their entire existence. After the battle, the Deviant managed to escape into the river and ran away. Realizing the Deviants have returned, they travel to South Dakota to reunite with their leader, Ajak, only to find that she had been killed. They suspect she had been killed by Kyo and absorb Ajak's healing ability. Circe was chosen by Ajak as her successor, granting her the ability to communicate with Erisham. However it only lasted for a moment and she was not able to re-trigger the communication again. They continued their journey and meet up with Kingo, who currently is Bollywood actor. After explaining the whole situation, Kingo along with his assistant travel with them on an airplane to Australia to find Gilgamesh and Thena. Athena was not in a good condition as her mind was not stable. Gilgamesh has been protecting her all these whiles. On the same day, Circe tried to initiate another communication to Erisham and she successfully done it. Erisham explains that for millions of years, the Celestials have been planting their seeds on populated planets for new Celestials to be born. This process was called emergence. With the deviants sent by them to destroy the apex predators of each planet to ensure the development of intelligent life. However, when the deviants evolved and began hunting the planet's native populations, the Eternals were sent to kill them. The success of emergence, which will result in Earth's destruction. She also found out that Eternals are in fact made by Erisham and after each emergence, Eternals' memories will be erased and reset before they proceed to the next planet. Circe was devastated after she knew the truth. The team headed to Amazon Rainforest to look for Druig. Druig, however has lost interest in helping humanity millennials ago, as human being tends to be reckless and selfish and killing each other. That night, the group was attacked by Crow and the Deviants. The group successfully killed most of them. Athena lost her ability to fight and Gilgamesh protected her till the end. Crow killed Gilgamesh and absorbed his ability. Before their eyes, Crow evolved even further and has the ability to speak. He said Erisham left both Deviants and Eternals to die after each emergence before fleeing the scene. After cremating him, they visited Fastos in order to reactivate Domo, their spaceship. The scene flashed back to six days ago, when Akaris met up with Ajak and she told him the truth about the emergence. Akaris chose to be loyal and tricked Ajak to the Deviant's whereabout and pushed her down the cliff, before planting her body back at her house to feign ignorance. This explained how Crow absorbed Ajak's ability. Back to Domo, 
The team split into two when Akari supported Emergence idea as this is their sole purpose to exist. Sprite joins Akari's as he flees due to her unrequited love for him, while Kingo also leaves the group as he does not wish to face Arisham or fight his teammates. Makari locates the place of the Emergence at the foot of an active volcano in the Indian Ocean and the Eternals battle Akaris and Sprite before being attacked by Crow. A huge battle happened between Thena and Crow. Crow tried to manipulate Thena by using Gilgamesh voice. However Thena saw through this and killed Crow. And the remaining Eternals work together to subdue Akaris while Fastos activates the Uni mind. Akaris breaks free of his restraints and approaches Cersei to kill her but finds himself unable to do so due to his love for her. As both he and Sprite join the Uni mind, Cersei gains enough power to turn Tiamat to marble. Guilt-ridden, Akaris flies into the sun. While at Sprite's request, Cersei uses the remaining energy from the Uni mind to turn Sprite into a human, ending her permanent childlike state. Thena, Druig, and Makari depart on the Domo to find other Eternals, while Cersei, Fastos, Kingo, and Sprite remain on Earth. Dane professes his love for Cersei and is about to reveal a secret about his family history when she, along with Fastos and Kingo, are remotely dragged into space by Erisham. Erisham states he is displeased with their treason but elects to spare humanity if the Eternal's memories show that humans are worthy of living. Vowing to return for judgment, he disappears into a singularity, taking the trio with him. In the end credit scene, Dane opened a box containing a dark sword, with the words, Death is my reward, inscribed on the box in Latin. This reveals that Dane is in fact Black Knight and opens future possibility of this movie. We hope you enjoyed this video summary. Do remember to subscribe. Thank you.